Hello everybody, Greg George here, and hey, I wanted to come to you with a, really a, hopefully a quick video to share with you how to make sushi at home. This is about my third or fourth how to make sushi at home video, but I wanted to come to you tonight in a little more detail and show you how easy it is to make sushi in your kitchen. Tonight, we're going to put together some spicy tuna roll. First thing I want to talk to you today about has got to do with the ingredients. You got to have the right ingredients in order to pull it off. And the first ingredient, you gotta have sushi rice. Now there's different brands and all these uh, products that I'm telling you about, you can find them in any Oriental market in your town or a high-end grocery store. Sushi rice. You gotta have wraps. You gotta have what you roll the sushi in. And all this stuff, by the way, is very inexpensive. You've gotta have soy sauce if you're gonna eat sushi, and you gotta have wasabi. It's my favorite product on the planet. And in order to make the rice right, you've gotta have Japanese vinegar. You put the Japanese vinegar in the old $30 crock pot, or not crock pot, but a rice cooker, and you put that in the rice in there and it'll make the rice come out nice and sticky. For tonight's dish, you have to have these ingredients. You've got to have good old sriracha hot chili sauce, and you got to have Japanese mayonnaise. You can't use Miracle Whip, you've got to have Japanese mayonnaise. So what I do is I take the Japanese mayonnaise, the hot sauce, and some fresh sliced tuna and I throw some diced up scallions in there and put it in mix it up and beat it up and get it ready I've made my rice got my white rice ready to go with my sushi rice and then all I'll do is come down here pan down here Samuel I went ahead and pan here closer son I went in here and went ahead and put my rice in that wrapper I showed you earlier I put over top of it the tuna with the mix the scallions, and then I'm going to throw a couple nice cukes on here, cucumbers, and then I'm going to roll a roll. I'm going to just make it tight, take it, you know, slow and easy, nothing too crazy, and then I'm going to roll that. I'm going to roll that. Most sushi chefs, they'll have some water nearby, but, you know, I've been doing this for some time now, and again, this is not restaurant quality. The taste is better than restaurant quality, but the look so basically, you see there, I've got a roll, and that's where we start. Then, all, you know, I, I recommend to always have a sharp knife, but I typically, whether my knife's sharp or not, I just poke it there and cut it. I poke it a little bit just to kind of open it up, poke it, and just hit it hard with the old knife there, and hit it about one more time. And then what I do is I, I take these, I tighten them up, you know, I make them look good. I want everything to look good for people I feed. And then what I do, pan over here, Sammy. I throw a little wasabi on there, a little soy sauce, and folks, right there, you got spicy tuna roll. It's as good as any restaurant. If any of you need any information or would like me to send you the ingredients for how to make spicy tuna roll, I'd love to. I hope uh, you're having a great day today, and I hope you have happy holidays.